Tests in Personal Development from Loved Ones I have a question about the tests. My regards to you, Ksenia Evgenievna, and hello to you too, Sasha, I'm only in the first main course, but I've already found a lot of information in your videos about the tests we face on our path to magic. I have been married for 14 years and my spouse is highly respected by everyone. He is a caring person who allows me to live and develop my life fully, supports me in all my endeavors, tries to understand and follow my values and principles. But unfortunately, I feel like we are living in different worlds more and more every year. In short, where I can see infinite depths, he can only appreciate and see what is on the surface. It's just eating me from the inside, I have no way to teach him to go deep into things and try to have a respectful attitude towards his surface consciousness, but it's not possible for me. Could this be one of the tests? And what is the right way to pass it? How can you love and respect a man who chooses a powerless existence instead of a conscious lifestyle? This is a difficult question, Sasha. Sooner or later, seekers of magic have to face the fact that the partner they have spent most of their lives with has chosen a different destination. They have to face the fact that the road they once walked together is now parted. Is this a test? Yes, I think it is. A test of loyalty. A test of resistance. Maybe even a test of love. It may be that your spouse knows and can do things that you don't know and can't do. You know how to take a deep look, and he knows how to take a wide look. Maybe you should learn to combine those skills. He doesn't know what you know, he looks at the situation superficially, but maybe he can see further and wider, while you can see deeper. His point of view may seem superficial to you. It may seem overly complex, unrealistic, and redundant. But he may also have his own point of view. Or maybe not, maybe he's really going through his own stages, his own tests to survive in the human world and to be respected by people is really his karmic task. A true witch is able to help her loved ones without forgetting herself. Without diminishing or prioritizing any of this. She must be able to do both, take care of herself and help her loved ones, you have to fulfill obligations you once made. It's very important for a warrior, for a witch warrior. Many people who have faced this situation have not been able to deal with it. If you only knew how many families, marriages, and partnerships have broken up just because one partner started working on self-development and the other did not, so they went their separate ways. And very few people have been able to deal with it. What matters the most here is mutual respect for each other's choices. He should respect you, you should respect him. You have to find that respect. Take the word should correctly, you need to find a reason to respect him. Look at your husband as a unique person. Ask yourself the question, what makes his limited and superficial point of view unique? What is it that he does with this superficial point of view that makes him unique, not only in comparison to you, but probably in comparison to everyone around him? Find it and hold on to it. Help your husband to see the same thing in you. And perhaps these two points, these two uniquenesses, will bind you together better than any superficial or deep views. Try this, and maybe it will help you. It is a kind of test that many people go through, and frankly speaking, only few have passed. Because it's always much easier to be alone than to love a person, even if he is not worthy of that love from your deep point of view. It's hard to love someone.
But maybe that's where the test lies.